Welcome to Equal Time with Martha Burr. Since President Biden's State of the Union speech back in March, a corporate dirty trick is back in the news. It's called shrinkflation, meaning items you buy routinely like groceries and household goods are being sneakily downsized. The package size hasn't changed, but the contents have shrunk. Consumers are paying the same price as before, but getting less of the product. The Prez mentioned smaller snicker bars in his speech as an example. Shrinkflation applies to all kinds of stuff, and food companies lead the way. Chibani yogurts went from 5.3 ounces to 4.5. Bags of party-sized Fritos are much less full of party since they went from 18 ounces to only 15 and a half. Non-food items like paper towels and detergent have also shrunk. That box of Kleenex you bought prior to 2022 had 65 tissues. Now it only has 60. Fast food chains have also bought into the scam, and consumers are taking notice. Online complaints have skyrocketed, pointing out that Burger King cut the number of chicken nuggets to 8 from 10, but it didn't lower the tab. Customers are also saying McD's Quarter Pounder ain't as big as it used to be, and the side of fries is smaller, too. The only thing that hasn't shrunk is the price. Shrinkflation is not unique to the U.S. It's taking its toll worldwide, and France is leading the charge to fight it. The country's biggest supermarket chain has posted bright orange signs in front of Pepsis, Lay's potato chips, and a variety of other foods where packages contain less than they used to. With the bold headline, Shrinkflation, the sign says, This product has seen its volume decrease and the price charged by our suppliers increased. The French government took notice, and by July 1st, every food retailer in the country will be required to plaster warnings in front of all products that have been reduced in size without a corresponding price cut. This is one time we should emulate the French. While corporate profits here are soaring, prices for food and other consumables remain stubbornly inflated. It's high time the U.S. government steps in to stop the steal. Thanks for listening to Equal Time. I'm Martha Burke.